Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading here. This is another reading, so let's see what's going on. Once again, these are very general readings. If you want a personal, you can definitely get one. If you want to um, contribute to the channel, check out the uh, Amazon wish list. Check out my other channels. If you want to see more about me or check out my tutorials or anything like that, you can check them out. But, so, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, 6 o'clock now. And I'm talking to Spirit, and I'm like, like okay, uh, give me a song for the Aquarius Collective. What do they need to know? And we have the song Learn Ya by Black, or if you're familiar with the name Six Black, okay? Um, yeah. So, what's going on here? This is going to be a very specific message. If it don't resonate, don't try to make it fit. So, we have the Sagittarius card, okay, which is the Temperance card. It's actually the... Uh, what, what do you call it a uh, cover card of this deck but i feel like what's going on right now aquarius uh there's like a path behind you right but i'm seeing like while you're too busy turning water to wine while you're too busy with your own studies or uh while you're too busy uh either being stressed out or with your baggage or whatever the fuck you got going on you have options you have doors being open you have things happening but what's going on with the ten of wands you could be stressed out. You could have a lot of burdens, chaos, or baggage that you need to be dealing with. Or you're trying to go multiple directions at one time, right? But Nine of Pentacles, this is for my single crowd, okay? This is for those who feel single, you are single. Or if you're in a relationship and it's some bullshit going on, your ass is single. But you're in this Empress energy, but you're also in the Nine of Pentacles. You could be um, worried about, you know, your finances, what you're accumulating. You know, just being content, happy in your own peace of mind. And, you know, with the song Learn You coming on, it's like Spirit is trying to tell you that they're going to send somebody your way or somebody's coming your way. Somebody out of these options, Six of Cups, but this is somebody who you've met before, you've had run-ins with. For some of you guys, they're from your past, but this is somebody either from your, but this is not like a motherfucker you've dealt with. This is somebody who you've known, but you never dealt with them on this type of level, or you haven't dealt with them in a in a way where... It could be like romantically or you never gave them a chance or shit never got off the ground. Like, you know, there's no bad blood or, you know, whatever it is. But whoever this person is, they're King of Pentacles. The person could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, or a Sagittarius. We have Libra, Aries on the board as well. Um, but whoever this person is, this is somebody here who, um, they think they the shit. You know how you think you the shit? I go with your Empress ass over here, man or female. This person thinks they're the shit, but they're a King of Pentacles, man or female. Okay, um, uh, whoever this person is, two of cups, like I said, um, they want to de-stress you, they want to help you, they want you to learn lessons, but more importantly, they want to show you some shit that you ain't never seen before, like it's giving Aladdin and Jasmine a whole new world when they was on the carpet ride, and you didn't even know it, the carpets can motherfucking fly, also I'm hearing that song by B.O.B., and it's called airplanes, you know, airplanes and nice skies like shooting stars. I could really use a wish right now, wish right now. Like, you know, maybe you made a wish or maybe you, whatever this person is, this is like your wish or your, their wish. Oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, with the two of cups energy, this person does like you. There's like a mutual bond or you like them or whatever. But this is somebody who feel like they're the best motherfucker you ever met or dealt with. Yeah, with the moon card here. And then we got the Nine of Pentacles. So this person feels like, you know, you could be secretive or th the secret or the, the issue is that whoever this person is, they view you as somebody here who you have a lot of things to learn or um, this is somebody who's going to read you top to bottom. And when I say read you, this could be like read you for filth in a bad way or read you in a good way. Like, you know, this person is very, um, they could be like a sexual or they're very intellectual or this is somebody who pays attention. So they, they can be like, like, you know how somebody can look at you and they can just read you from top to bottom or they do this to people and it's like, they're not being rude, but if they were being rude, they could be, you know, nasty or diabolical. Yeah, this is somebody here who feels like every time, or like, you may have an issue with them because if they try to tell you about yourself or tell you some shit, you may feel like they're talking shit or you take it personal and they're not. They're just trying to help you improve. This could be specifically a Virgo, but I know for a fact this person's an earth sign because earth signs do this shit. Um, specifically Virgo and Capricorn placements, they do this. Not really Taurus too much, but definitely Virgo, uh, Capricorn. We got Cancer on the board now, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have heavy fire sign, heavy, uh, well, no, heavy earth sign, heavy water sign energy, Sagittarius specifically. 
Um, but yeah, whoever this person is, cherry card, uh, I, I just feel like honestly right now they're charging towards you at full speed. Either they've already got there or they're on the way. Yeah. But whoever the actual person is, this is somebody here who, um, it's like they think that they have what you need. And then I'm hearing that song, but I will love you, girl, the way you need. Ain't no one can stop us. Ain't no one can stop us. I, I don't know if that's by Party Next Door or if it's by Miguel. I don't know who the fuck is by, but I know I got that song on my phone. I don't know what the name of the song is either. I know it's old, maybe 2014, 2015. But whoever this person is, they feel like um, if you ever did, deal with any mans or you deal with any females before them, they all been regular or they all been not um, lames or they all been like um, on some bullshit. Like the people who don't measure up to them, okay? This is somebody who got a big ego. Okay, they may like the material world, may like material things, or they may dress really nice. Or some of you guys, this person could be like one of those artsy or alternative, or somehow they just have a fashion about them, and they love fashion. Um, I'm also hearing the song Fashion Killer by ASAP Rocky. That's also another reason why I said that. But I'm looking at the lyrics to learn ya, because that was the channel uh, song for this reading. Um, this is just somebody here who like, um, also, they could be like very hands-on, um, you may want to check out their Mars sign or their, no, yeah, their Mars or their Mercury sign here. And it could be like in uh, Scorpio or Sagittarius or, um, excuse me, in some type of um, mutable sign like that or a mutable sign period. But whoever this person is, this is somebody here who they're going to learn you from top to bottom, whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not. Or this is what they want to do. This is somebody here who talks a lot with their hands. So they, they tell the truth even if it hurts, but I, I just feel like whoever this person is, um, <laughs> for some of you guys, you may not want to take it to a commitment level or a romantic level, but you could just want to mess around with them and that's fine. Um, but, and they don't care about that either. This person, but one thing about it, they don't really want to be temporary in your life. They don't want to show you temporary love or this to be a temporary situation or they don't just want to fuck. Okay. This is somebody who actually, you know, like I said, they want to learn you from top to bottom um this could be somebody who you talk a lot to or you've talked to before maybe they've given you advice or you know when you guys talk you talk when you don't you don't or like you guys just talk about casual shit it's, it'd never be about real shit or you know you have a conversation with a motherfucker and it's like okay it's a lot of tension yeah but whoever this person is yeah with the world card i feel like what's going on here <laughs> A lot of people got their eyes on you or people, they could be hearing multiple things about you or whatever it is, but they're being sent in by the ancestors, okay? This is not a regular motherfucker, okay? They're being sent in by the ancestors. Um, they could have a mouth like you, okay? Or they they just as cutthroat as you are, but three of swords. This person could be, um, they're being sent in after some type of deception, heartbreak, pain, or something that you have recently went through, eight of wands, they could be coming in to comfort you about this here, or this could be like some type of, I don't know, I'm hearing live-in maid. Not, I don't know, I'm getting live-in maid vibes. Like the, the, like Fran, is that her name? Fran from the show The Nanny? That could be significant, or the storyline. I think, you know, she moved in to be the nanny, and I think he was going through a divorce with his wife, or he was something like that. But more importantly, with the Eight of Wands and Page of Wands, this person is obsessed with you. Oh, they're traveling towards you here. Just as quick as you get this news, or whatever this is or you could tell this person to pull up you want to vent or whatever the fuck it is yeah they'll do that i don't know i'm hearing but you should have known this that i ain't going that i ain't blowing no smoke baby i ain't i don't know whose song that is i forgot is it Destiny or i don't think so but yeah this person here they they gonna pull up on your ass i just feel like yeah ace of pentacles here this this is actually supposed to be upright not in the reverse um but this person is like a wish that you granted or, or like either you wish for them or they wish for you or you wish for something. And somehow this person is going to show up and you're going to be like, huh? What? What are you talking about? Like, what are y'all doing? Is this some type of sick joke or something? But I feel like the Page of Pentacles, the only reason why the person is actually showing up to begin with is that they literally have, yeah, two of wands. Supposed to be aiding you through some type of lesson here of the two of wands here. They, the reason why they're showing up here because you are the student. You are the student, okay, in this round. 
And I feel like the two of wands here, you have to make a decision or the ball is in their court. And I feel like they're trying to make you happy or the goal for them or the reason why they're sent in is to make you happy. To get you into the spirit, to show you your authenticity, to make you real. Or I don't know, I'm getting Hercules and Pegasus, like y'all go together like that. But more importantly, this person is supposed to help you address your conflicts or address conflicting energies or certain shit that you're not seeing here or, or blow off steam. There's like a, a I'm getting like a handy mandy fixer upper i can fix that i'm trying to figure out what was the movie with sanai late late then and she was dating she had hired this white man to fix her house but she ended up liking him and marrying him or he wanted to marry her um hold on ma 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 her ass is asleep never mind i'm just gonna ask her what the movie was um because she watched it all the time but yeah page of wands page of wands knight of wands page of pentacles Whoever this person is are good with their sex game too. But more importantly, um, I feel like that's not the only reason the only reason the only thing it came from for this person. Like when they come through, they may, you know, bring conflicting ass energy. Oh, I'm getting with the Knight of Wands. They can handle your mood swings. But this is definitely somebody here who they're coming in with um hot and heavy. And they know exactly what they're doing, but you may feel like that you they, they get a certain reason where they get comfortable whatever and they forget their plan or what they should be doing here but that's what they want you to think yeah queen of wands because you're the queen of wands you they know that you're the queen of wands they know that you're very sexy you're very fire you're very outspoken but they already know that you have to be the student here so they're trying to make it in a way where they let you lead but you still they still maintain control without you knowing it or something like that it's kind of cute eight of pentacles this is all about you putting in work because for you they want you to put in work knight of cups like i said you could be working or you're doing something or you're minding your business and boom they just show up and i fuck the death card you could be also in the midst of a transformation but seven of wands are helping you um get tight okay i don't know i'm seeing somebody ha well, having a brazier or like a a, a skim set or specifically the old braziers where they have the strings in them and you pull the strings and it it cinches you in like that like this is what it's giving yeah, five of wands. This is this is somebody here also with the ooh. Yeah, this is what they're supposed to be doing here. They're supposed to be helping you cross your T's, dot your eyes, how to handle conflict or combat, or maybe teaching you how to fight with words or how 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 to how to fight without fighting or something of the sort. I don't know why I'm getting um I'm hearing keep your stance low. Keep your body lowered. If you ever watched um Steven Universe, when uh, Pearl was teaching Steven and um, his girlfriend, I forgot her name, how to sword fight or how to uh, be of combat or was teaching Connie, it's her name, Connie, to be of combat here or, or, or how to protect Steven because he was like divine and she was divine too, but on a human scale. Okay. I don't know if that's of significance. Also, I'm seeing like Mulan, um, when she was going through basic training or, you know, she was learning how to do everything and go up the pole and this and that. And, you know, the man that she was going to marry was actually the man who was teaching her, was going hard on her, doing this, doing that, doing that, doing that. You see what I'm saying? So this is like somebody who's going to come into your life like that. Mm. Let's pull some cards here. We have the Mystic Martian Oracle. I love this fucking deck. Shout out to you, love, for um, donating it. Okay, if you want to donate a deck or anything to the channel, the Amazon wish is down below. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. So, what's going on in fantasy? We have eternal. We have a past life. So, like I said, you guys do have a past life together. And this person knows that. This person knows that you guys have had a past life together. But I feel like for you, you don't trust them. You either don't trust them, you're uncertain of, to, of of what they have going on, or period, or you know you're just going to be guarded to worst this person. Yeah, you're gonna be like, huh? Who the? F you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme on Instagram, and it'd be like, shut up. Now who sent you, nigga? Like <laughs> you could be like that. <laughs> you're gonna be like that. Okay, so I dropped a whole bunch of cards on the floor. I'm gonna read them, even though I really didn't want to, because it was a lot gonna read them if i can pick him up with my feet okay give me a second guys because i really look to up behind this camera right now it's 5 a.m my hair is all over my head so fire element this person could be a fire sign that everybody's your sagittarius or you could have in your chart but i honestly feel like what's going on this person knows that you're somebody who's very fearless you're very passionate you're a warrior okay and they can share the same qualities as you but i feel like with the reptilian card this person um you're cold-blooded 
like they have they may have a lot of water placements in their chart and you may have a lot of fire placements in your chart or it could be the other way around or both y'all may have the same placements but i just feel like whoever uh this person is hold on there's i know there was one another card down here what is this whoever this person is this is somebody here who um they could have been like a predator before and i'm not talking like in a bad way but like you know it's like eat or be eaten and they're the ones that's going to eat or they're going to kill every time like they may have this predatory or this um this primal energy about them okay um this is giving like survival of the fittest here but like you don't have that same energy like yeah you're fiery passionate but at the same time you're you don't have that same energy as them and i feel like this person could used to be a tyrant here or they, they changed their ways ma what's what's that movie with Sanaa Lathan in it with the white boy what's the movie called no with Sanaa Lathan with the white boy who who she um hired to um fix her house and she ended up marrying him remember the family didn't like them oh you talk, I know what you're talking I got it I got it thank you okay okay well don't worry about it then but yeah air element I feel like you guys both have air in your chart or you guys both see each other from a philosophical uh or you guys can relate on a phys philosophical or spiritual uh level also what's going on you guys may also have empathy for each other i'm getting you guys are from two different worlds but it's like you need what they've been through and they need what you've been through that makes sense but this person does not discriminate or like you guys could have been discriminated against okay and you know that's what it is i feel like you guys hold empathy and hold space for each other okay but this is supposed to be like a harmony harm, harmonious and protected union here or like protected situation pentagram this person could even be a gd like who let the gds in the stove <laughs> like for some of you guys not all of you uh that's just so funny to me or you know pentagrams maybe somebody likes rock i know i'm hearing yeah maybe somebody's in the band or maybe somebody's seen the movie freaky friday recently okay or like they act like Lindsay lohan okay i don't know this might have a red hair or something or maybe you have red hair but, um, yeah, this is somebody who's going to be sent in. I just feel like, let's pull their energy here. Who is this bird? Let's pull three cards on them. Yeah, new trials. Whoever this person is, they're coming to assist you with the new trial that you're being presented with. Yeah, and I have rival entrepreneur. This could also be somebody here who, um, either they're a rival entrepreneur of you, okay? Or, you know, there could be a new trial regarding a rival entrepreneur they're going to help you with. For some of you guys here, also what I'm picking up, they might even know this rival entrepreneur. Either they know them or they could have been um, on their side before, but now they're swapping sides or switching teams. All right, let's get to the last card. Yeah, but rescue me. This person's coming to rescue you or they're coming to help you or save you. But Aquarius, you're so fixed. You're like, but I don't need nobody to save me. Fuck. Like, you know. And for your energy, I have Asian doll Sagittarius. So maybe, um, you know how Asian doll, she'd be like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. About none of that shit. And you know, everybody talk about Asian doll and she like, be no nonsense she don't care but she do care but she don't care um you gotta take your Sagittarius placement like I said it keeps showing up heavily here maybe this person's a Sag maybe you got a Sag somewhere in your chart but that's what's going on there also um I have severe depression so maybe um you may need to help this person with like their severe depression or like they may go through se severe like depressive episodes okay or maybe you do. I don't know. You know, it's, it, you know. But yeah, laced and set up. They also could have been laced or set up before here, or maybe they could have been in a depressive episode because they know this happened to somebody. Um, let's pull one more card for you, Aquarius. What the fuck? Yeah, sex parties. Okay, so maybe maybe this, you could be involved in these, or maybe you're getting invited to them. Or if you're down for that, that's cool. Me personally, I've always wanted to just like go to them because I see people talk about them on TikTok and not like indulge, but kind of just like look at that atmosphere. Like, what the fuck is y'all doing down here? Um, <laughs> I know that's very crazy. But for um, let's get one card for them. I have an ultimatum is given. So you may need to help them when it comes to ultimatums being given in their life or how to be more passionate or flexible or whatever it is. Or this could be a situation where you have to help them. Maybe somebody's trying to lace them or set them up. Or there's an ultimatum they have to, you know, you have to tell them that you have is either one or two. Like, you know, these are these situations that arise with this person or that comes with them. And these are the ones that come with you. Okay. Um, but mutually here, let's get four cards. Mutually, um, so earth human farming, kind of like being different amongst a bunch of carbon copies or kind of like being the, being the herding dog around all these sheep. 
Okay, you guys are both influential in good and bad ways. Um, ooh, you guys both could be bisexual or bi curious. Um, or maybe they've dealt with people like this. Um, it says I remember everything. So, ooh, ooh, ooh it's some money from your past. Or maybe they remember something that happened regarding you or something regarding them. It says switching one person for the other. Like I said, they're swapping somebody else out for you. This is why they're coming in. And you don't even know that you're swapping somebody else out. The universe is swapping somebody else out of your life for them. And I don't feel like you're seeing this. For some of you guys, you do. For most of you, you don't. Um, what? This is like crazy ass reading. Like, like I'm, is this thing going? Like, this is ridiculous. But that is what's going on here, y'all. Like, yeah, I, then I, I just picked up my deck and then I have... The Judgment, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Will of Fortune, the Four of Pentacles. So what's going on? I, I just honestly see right now, um, you guys both have a karmic past or health issues or something like that going on or something of the sort. There's like a whistle bling blowing and I feel like with the Three of Cups here, there's like being a swap, like wife swap, if that makes sense. Swapping energy for both of you guys, okay? And because so that was the clarity, that was the truth for somebody to wake up. Because you both were around either karmics or false divines. And I feel like the Will of Fortune, the Four of Pentacles, whatever you're holding in or whatever you're holding back, this is like one of those situations where everything needs to be put on the table or something. I don't know. It's very weird. But this is what's happening. Or six of swords. This is who's coming in. Okay. Uh, but with the devil card, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope to see you later. But the devil card is there because. Um, there was like some devilish energy or like toxic individuals y'all was bound to. And the spirit was like, uh-uh. Y'all was too indecisive and y'all was holding back. So they just made the move for you or whatever the fuck it is. But this is the reading. So expect this person that they haven't got there already. But I will see you guys later. Bye.